Next week, I'll be bringing out my official championship predictions for this upcoming season. But before we get into my predictions, something that we like to do on the channel each year is put FIFA to the test. And in today's video, we're going to be doing just that. We're going to be simulating the upcoming 22-23 championship season on FIFA to see what they can come up with. Now, I have to admit, last year, FIFA... Bizarrely enough, actually predicted a semi-realistic table. I think in the end they predicted four out of the sides which went on to finish in the top six. They had one of the sides that went down in their bottom three as well. So as FIFA predictions go, generally speaking, last year was actually fairly decent. So this year has a lot to live up to. So in order to make this as realistic as possible, I have gone through each of the championship clubs and made the vast majority of transfers which have gone through in the championship so far. I will have missed a few out, but Generally speaking, I've made the majority of the big transfers that have gone through for each club. And I've gone through all the championship clubs to put everyone that will be competing in the championship next season into the same league so we can go ahead and get this simulation on the road. As we like to, I'll just go ahead and pick Preston um, as the team to be, as that's the team I support. Not that it should make all too much difference with the team that I've selected, but as we can see here, here are all the teams that will be competing in the championship this season. What we're going to go ahead and do is simulate right to the end of the season so I'm not going to have any impact in this one whatsoever. We're going to go ahead, get to the end of the season and simulate the outcome of this championship this time around. And let's see who comes out on top. So the simulation is now done and I have the standings of each championship side to the side of me. So kicking us off at the foot of the table according to FIFA, it's going to be Wigan Athletic making up the rest of the championship in 24th place, coming in with a measly 39 points. And obviously this experiment will be affected by, you know, the teams that haven't done all too much transfer business so far um, and are yet to really go out and properly strengthen their squads. Wigan, one of the tr clubs in the championship currently who haven't done all too much business and that will affect this simulation. I think the same can be said for Blackpool as well, who are coming in 23rd position on this FIFA simulation. To be fair to Blackpool, I think on last year's version when we simulated the season on FIFA, Blackpool were also in FIFA's bottom three for that one, so clearly FIFA aren't fancying Blackpool all too much. But quite a lot of change um, happening at Blackpool at the moment. Obviously, Critchney is no longer there. Um, he was sort of their ace up Blackpool's sleeve last season in terms of a potential overachievement, and Appleton's got that all to prove this time around. Probably the biggest shock so far, though, is the fact that they've got Swansea City finishing 22nd on just 44 points. Towards the end of last season, it really felt like Russell Martin's side were trending upwards, especially if they do manage to keep hold of Perot and Obafemi. It felt like them two were really building up some chemistry between themselves. So, yeah, can't for the life of me see this one, to be honest. I'm sure that Rotherham fans would take this one every day of the week, though, because FIFA has predicted them to survive in 21st place, coming in with 45 points overall. It does seem as if under Paul won each season, they have been trending closer and closer to getting over the line in the championship. Could this be their year? 20th place for Coventry would be quite the disappointing season. Under Mark Robbins, they've really been going from strength to strength each season. They have been trending upwards and the next stage in their progression, I suppose, will be a proper challenge to be up and amongst the top six. So yeah, 20th would be quite the fall from grace from where Coventry are at the moment. It does feel like Sunderland could be a potential wildcard in the championship next season. FIFA's got them predicted to finish in 19th place at this point in time. I think there'll be a whole range of predictions in terms of where people are fancying Sunderland to finish. I have really actually quite liked the look of their recruitment so far. It's been um, a little bit slow off the mark, but the deals they have got done, seriously impressive in terms of the pe the pedigree and the young group that Alex Neal obviously wants to assemble um, and the talent that's already present within that squad. 18th place would be a little bit of a slump for what Millwall have generally come to expect in the Championship. And if you were to ask me a month or so ago, then maybe I would have had Millwall um, around about 18th place. You know, losing Jed Wall Ballard and his effect on that back line from last season but the deals they've got done over the last couple of weeks I'd put a more positive spin on Millwall at this point and I've had them uh, definitely higher than 18th place. I'd be interested to know where you guys are at on Huddersfield at this point in time because FIFA has them predicted to finish in 17th place quite the fall from 
Grace from their playoff final last season. There's a hell of a lot of moving parts at, at Huddersfield this summer though with O'Brien um, seeming to be out the door, Toffolo as well, the departure of Carlos Corbran and the influence that he had on that squad last season. Yeah, Huddersfield's a tough call at the moment. Bristol City in 16th place I don't think is an outrageous prediction by FIFA at this point in time. Seems like they're trying to establish a little bit more uh, consistency under Pearson. Um, they've certainly got a front three that can score goals, but can they keep them out is the question. I have liked the look of the recruitment at Bristol City so far this summer with the introductions of Kane Wilson and Cal Naysmith especially into that back line. I think if you were to ask most people right now what will be the bottom three come the end of the season the vast majority probably would have Reading there or thereabouts but FIFA is fancying their chances to move up the championship quite considerably actually they've got them pegged in for a 15th place finish it's a tough situation Reading find themselves in at the moment with how they are restricted in the transfer moves that you can make in terms of the embargo despite that I mean they have lost a hell of a lot of quality they have still been able to bring in a few gems here and there so far my side Preston North End is then up next in 14th place according to FIFA and as of recording right now I'd say that's a fairly realistic prediction for where we probably are at this point in time. I've liked a few of the deals we've got over the line there. Uh, Robbie Brady has looked quite promising in pre-season so far. Freddie Woodman I think is an excellent capture but certainly still got several more deals which we'll need to get over the line in these next few weeks. Hull City could be a lot of fun in the championship next season. FIFA has them penned down for a 13th place finish as things stand. It does feel like as of recording their transfer business is not done by any means as well so we could still still see this whole squad taken to another level and um, the midfield especially has been heavily invested into so far with you know likes of two fan coming in Seri as well and all the quality that he'll add but the thing that's been taken away from Hull is probably their best player from last season Keen Lewis Potter. Slap bang in the middle of the table FIFA then has Blackburn Rovers coming in 12th place another club um, that's been quite slow so far with their transfer business so it's tough to put your finger on Blackburn at the moment until they properly start going into the market and making those moves with the new manager coming in as well. One team who hasn't been shy about doing their transfer business so far has been Cardiff City and with all those new introductions coming into the squad, FIFA is predicting a quite considerable uptrend from them up to the top half under Steve Morrison. They have been by far and away the most busy club in terms of transfer activity in this transfer window so far. I do think it might take a little bit of time for Morrison to bed all these new signings in but in terms of a long-term project backing the manager getting players who will fit his play style yeah Cardiff's uh, an interesting one and uh, definitely a more exciting prospect than they were probably 12 months ago another new manager coming into the league with QPR they're a bit of an unknown coming into this season as well I think they've picked up some quite savvy deals actually um, on free transfers and loans and things like that FIFA does have them pending for a top 10 finish at the moment they may no longer have Morgan Gibbs White, but Sheffield United sites will as a bare minimum be set on the top six for this upcoming season so to fall to a ninth place finish according to FIFA would be quite the underachievement from Sheffield United at this point in time. Paul Heckenbottom getting his first full season in charge of this Sheffield United squad where there is no doubt an abundance of quality they are expected to be um, in the top six. Another club with an abundance of quality but a new unknown manager coming into the championship in Rob Edwards. A lot of moving parts within Watford's squad at this point in time it does still feel like there probably will be one or two more big departures but FIFA has Watford down for an 8th placed finish. I think it's fair to say that Rob Edwards wouldn't see out the season um, if Watford aren't in the top 6. And this year is still not going to be Stoke City's year as FIFA has them penned down for a 7th place finish and just fallen short of a playoff finish on goal difference in the end, finishing on 76 points. There have been clubs in the Championship to do more business than West Brom so far, but in terms of the quality of player that West Brom have picked up in this window on free transfers as well, I think most people would be foolish not to be considering them for a top six spot at this point in time. Um, you know, John Swift, Jed Wallace coming in, Yukoshlu as well, um, who had serious quality into that midfield. FIFA's got them to just edge past Stoke on goal difference. 
And this might be the most balmy prediction of the whole video, but Birmingham fans, you guys may have a hope for optimism this season because FIFA is backing you for a top six finish this time round, whereas most people would probably have Birmingham battling it out um, for a relegation spot at this point in time. But hey, we've seen crazier things happen in the championship in previous years. Potential new Birmingham owner, Lawrence Bassini, did claim in an interview that he was going to win the league with Birmingham. Um, he'd certainly go close, according to FIFA, on this one. Coming in fourth place, we then have Burnley coming in with 80 points. Burnley are quite an exciting proposition, um, as much as I hate to say it, coming into next season. Under Vincent Company, with the recruitment they've done so far, I think coming into this season, there was maybe a little bit of a misguided perception over Burnley's financial situation in terms of the loans that had to be paid back and things like that. As a result of that, we thought that Burnley might be um, a little bit limited in what they did in this transfer market, but that's certainly not been the case. And while they have lost high-profile players, who we expected them to lose. The recruitment so far has been pretty positive on the whole. Middlesbrough under Chris Wilder, I'm sure a lot of people think they'll be there or thereabouts. The recruitment that they have got over the line so far, I think has been quite positive, slowly building up the core of a squad which is going to really compete in and around the top end of the championship. They are still light um, over a few positions. Maybe now that that Jed Spence deal has gone through, we will see um, some deals finalised, particularly in the top end of the pitch, which is the the most notable area where they are lacking at this point in time but if they do get a couple of quality strikers over the line add a little bit more depth into a few more areas then yeah I would expect Middlesbrough to be right up there. FIFA is not messing about this year though. They have come in with the big calls because they predicted Luton Town to come in second place, riding high on the confidence of their top six finish from last season. FIFA's back in Nathan Jones' side to go from strength to strength, coming in second place and finishing on 85 points. Now, I did have a little bit of a concern with Luton at the start of the summer. You know, when they initially lost Naismith, I thought, oh no, this could be a scenario where this squad slowly gets picked away um, and it's a massive rebuilding job for Luton but after that Naismith departure it's not really been the case and they've only gone ahead and really added on to that squad which finished in the top six from last season. Positive recruitment so far, good manager, loads of momentum around the club. Second might be a little bit of a stretch but who knows with Luton. And of course even FIFA has enough sense to go ahead and predict Norwich City to go ahead and win the league coming in with 89 points in total. I think that will be probably a popular prediction come the first game week of the season. Norwich, they've been here before. They've got a manager in Dean Smith who already has a promotion on his CV. While he may not have the championship CV of someone like Daniel Fark, he is going to be working with one of the most talented squads in the championship next season. The vast majority of players already have that promotion or two on their CV. And when you've got Timu Puki in your side, you're always going to be up and amongst it, aren't you? But guys, as you can see to the side of me, those are FIFA's predictions for the upcoming in season. I do think there are a couple of howlers in there. Um, Swansea going down is questionable. Birmingham being in the top six, also a bit of a question mark over that one. But do you know what? For the vast majority of the table, apart from a few outliers, I don't actually think that's the worst prediction in the world. I certainly think that some of our predictions in the next few weeks will be maybe even more um, inaccurate than what FIFA's come up with here. But do let me down, know down below what are you thinking of FIFA's predictions. In terms of the top scorers that FIFA has gone ahead and predicted, do you know what? These aren't all too bad shouts to be up and amongst the running for the Golden Boot. We've got Carlin Grant eventually winning it with 22 goals, according to FIFA this time around. Gerkerez popping in with 21. Rodriguez um, reliving his former years with 19 for Burnley. Timu Puki up and amongst the Golden Boot, but not quite doing enough to win it with 18 goals. Adebayo up there for Luton. Billy Sharp, Vyman, uh, Gerald Sparrow. Um, even though Swansea got relegated, Joel Perot still chips in with 15 goals throughout the season, which is interesting. But guys, there we have it. That will wrap it up for today's video. If you did go on to enjoy, make sure to leave a like and do stick around and subscribe for some regular championship content. Like I say, this video was just for a little bit of fun. My proper predictions will be coming out next week. But we've got a bunch more championship content coming out around the corner. So as always, do stick around and subscribe for some regular championship content. And I'll see you all in the next one.